Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel today. We are back on Ren. And yes, you've guessed it. We're doing Money Game Part 2. Interesting concept that I found out at the end of the last one when I said, why the hell is Ren pouring gas on himself? Then I got told in the comments, the symbolisation is probably that we are as much to blame for everything that happens in the world as the uh, tyrants, as the politicians. So, you know, set myself on fire because I'm just as bad as them. That's what I was told and I think that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, let's check this out. Ooh, I always look forward to Ren Day's Money Game Part 2. Let's get it. It's the same guitar riff. Cool. Strange Hang on. It's the same guitar riff with drama. I just thought I'd put my own bit of drama in it. Let's go. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria. Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your yeah. narcissist mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the show. America. <laughs> we are watching American Dad. <laughs> Strange times living again, panic and hysteria. Poor men learn the rich man don't care for you. They don't. That is true. That is never a true. If you're rich, you don't look at anybody else. You're just looking after yourself. Oh my God! If you're poor, you're poor, and that's why you stay poor. Unless you make get a break in life, sort of things. Wow. This mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the show. America written, split through fickle shit. A yeah. government of hypocrites. Yeah. These counterfeit politicians sit in parliament. Yeah. Not adequate. Come on. Needlessly be. He's right. He's right. They are hypocrites. Just look at Partygate in this country. If you're not familiar with Partygate, this is when COVID lockdown happened and you said you cannot even go and visit your relatives, you can't go to your friend's house, you can't go to your relatives, you know, you can't even go to funerals, etc. blah, 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 blah. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. And Boris Johnson had all his mates around had a drink in the garden. See, he has that drink in hand and he's standing behind a table with wine bottles and food. He appears to be raising his glass in a toast. One rule for them, one rule for us. We get caught with the... With, with the if we get caught breaking the rules, we're the ones who get arrested and, and charged and stuff and they were just like, you know, oh, uh, slap on the wrist, we won't do it again. He's right. Politicians sit in Parliament Not adequate They're not Needlessly bleeding resources all dry mm. Turn a blind eye if it means a pay rise <laughs> Oh what a shame it would be I would die If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire Oh, oh That needs to happen <laughs> Absolutely friggin' lootly This is right this You know they, they turn a blind eye to everything that we Are suffering with oh, They don't listen to us and, and oh, do you know what? I tell you what, this month we'll give ourselves a pay rise. Ren speaks facts. Oh, what a shame it would be, I would die. If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire. <laughs> only joking, only messing, don't be stressing. I'm a peaceful adolescent, there's no need to be unpleasant. Yeah. My thesis in a rhyme scheme to analyse the brain while my finger's on the trigger of a money game. Oh, yeah. Rain, 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 rain. The storm, it comes that way. And those who pass to distort their lives, poison in the face. But we die upon the plane, 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 plane. Mm. It's easy to blame. We point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this whole money oh, game. We are. Mm. And he's saying he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's not bitter, he's not this, that, and He's just pointing out the facts. That's what he said. I'm just an adolescent who's speaking the truth. And, and that Ren is one of the most realist artist out there this you know yeah i absolutely absolutely agree with every single point of this so far and it's it's very very relevant to, to, to obviously my culture because i'm from the same countries I and mean, he's pointing out facts in this country yeah panic and hysteria is what the government's cause so that nobody sees actually what's going on the conspiracies, the conspiracy theories. Some of them are not conspiracies, some of them are right. Some of them are not theories, should I say, they're not right, they are right. Money is a game and the ladder we climb turns a saint into a sinner. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. 
Money is a... Right, okay. Major Ingram, this guy here, if you don't know who he is, he's on a programme here called um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This guy was thick as pig shit, but he won a million because he had a friend in the in the crowd <coughs> coughing because he'd write, it, it, the answers would come up, there's four answers, and he'd like, A, is it this? B, is it that? And the guy would cough like say it would be. I don't think it's rugby union. I don't think it's lawn tennis, polo. No, I, I just don't recall any connection. I think if I had to guess, and I can, I think can I'd take cricket. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he would say, he'd pretend that, he, oh, do you know what, I'm going to say it's B. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. But the ladder, the money is the game, the ladder is we climb, he's using who wants to be a millionaire as that analogy. Really, really good. Really good. Game and the ladder we climb turns a saint into a sinner with this fingering crime. I'll break uh, it down for you, motherfuckers, line by yeah. line. This is business economics in the nursery rhyme. <laughs> she sells seashells. <laughs> <laughs> business and eco economics in a nursery rhyme because he's telling them, oh, this, this is this guy's on another level. Just line by line. This is business economics in the nursery yes. rhyme. Oh. She sells seashells on right. the seashore, but the value of these shells will fall mm. due to the laws of supply and demand. Man, no one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand. Step one. <laughs> yeah, it's like the old saying: selling sand to the Arabs. You know what I mean? They say like you don't, you're not going to buy this sort of stuff if you can get it for free, sort of thing. And now going back to high rent, we've heard it all before: seashells, seashells on the seashore. Obviously, they're talking about Money Game Part Two now because I didn't know the very first song I checked out from Ren was High Rent, and I thought it was it was talking about the nursery rhymes that a lot of people know. But no, he was talking about this song. Hey. I'm with you. I'm with you, Ren. I remembered. The laws of supply and demand. No one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand. Yeah. Step one, must create a sense of scarcity. Shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare, you see. Bear with me. <laughs> Take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island. Stop pile them high until they're rarer than the diamond. Step two. Yeah. Oh, what's he saying? The government are hiding stuff from us, thinking like everything that's not rare, everything that's not priceless, they, they make it scarce. They make it so it's hard, so they can make money. Oh, is that just an analogy for them, like, stockpiling stuff? Ooh, layers. Layers. Stuff that's not... Stuff that's common, stuff that's not worth a lot, they take all of and feed it out to us for lots of money. Any shelters you can find and hide them on an island, stop pile them high until they're rarer than the diamond yeah. step two. Gotta make the people think that they want them, really want them, really fucking want them. Hit them like Bronson, influencers, product <laughs> placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a shell, then you're just a fucking waste, man. Three. Oh, oh, and then believe they make the falsify adverts or, or the, the, the feed information into us saying that we need this, whatever it is that's rare now. So they can, you know. Oh, God, it's this is good. It's like brainwashing, if you like. It's like brainwashing. Product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a shell, then you're just a fucking waste, man. Free, yeah. it's Monopoly. Invest inside some property. Start a corporation, make a logo, do it properly. Yeah. Shells must sell, that will be a new philosophy. Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man's quality. For mm. Expand, expand. Mm. Swallow all your morals, it's a poor man's um, quality. When you're rich, you don't give a shite. You don't care. Your morals are gone. You're messing. You're, you're fucking people over to get further in your career, into making your empire bigger. You don't care as long as you get the money. When you're a poor man, you're thankful for getting the little things in life. Something that someone who's very rich just overlooks. Ren speaking from our level. I like that. A new philosophy. Swallow all your morals. They're a poor man's quality. For well, and the Wolf of Wall Street film in the background where he makes the money. Yeah, if you've seen it, it's a good film. Yeah, he's using that as an analogy in the background as a picture, as a as a video. I'll sell that will Brilliant. be a new philosophy. Swallow all your morals. They're a poor man's quality. For expand, expand, expand. Yeah. Clear forest, make land, fresh blood on hands. Five. Yeah. Why just yeah, shout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The step five just. Knocking trees down, getting rid of rainforests, etc., just so we can build more empires and and make money with housing, etc. Yeah. And yeah, expand, expand, clear forests, make land, fresh blood on hands. Five. Why just shells? Why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well. Six. <laughs> I wondered. I wonder when the oil was gonna come. 
these rich tycoons now. And it, and it doesn't hit hard as much as it does now because all these oil companies, all these people who's making petrol and stuff, hiked the prices up. And when the oil sales came down, they kept them high. Going back to the deforestation, the blood on the hands, the killing a lot of animals, they pushing them out of their natural habitat, habitat etc. It's, it's, ah! Guns sell stocks, sells diamonds, sell rocks, sell water to a fish, sand to the Arabs. It's the same sort of thing I said before to the... Oh, my God! I like this. For a, a fish needs water, and there's plenty of it. So why would it buy it? That's the analogy. Just shells, why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well. Six on sell stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock, <laughs> sell the time to a clock. <laughs> yeah. I lo I'm loving all these analogies. This is brilliant. Fun, sell stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock, seven. Press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes, then run to be the president of the United yeah. States. Eight big smile, make big wave, that's great. Now the truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate. Yeah. Nine polar the truth is overrated. Tell lies out the gate. The truth is probably boring. The truth is probably something that um, they can hold back on you. Tell lies, create drama, and get everyone to fight with each other. Left and right and all that bollocks. Shouldn't be swearing so much. <laughs> People, controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Yeah. Ten. The world yeah. is your... Yeah, it doesn't matter if they hate you. I'm sorry I'm pausing so much. It doesn't matter if they hate you if they all say your name because basically good press and bad press is press. It keeps you in the news, keeps people talking about you, keeps people off the real, real situation that's going on because if if you're being talked about, nothing else is. <laughs> it's just, it's tactical. It's tactical. The game, it don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Thanks. Ten. The world is yours. Step out on the stage to a round of applause. Yeah. You're a liar, cheat, a devil, a whore. Ooh. And you sell seashells on the seashore. Oh. Rain, 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 rain. The storm it comes our way. And those who pass to distort the lies. Poison in the face. But we die upon the plane, plane, yeah. plane, plane. It's easier to blame. We point the mirror bright ourselves. We're all part of this whole money oh. game. Wow, what a great song. I mean, all the analogies that you threw in there lyrically, you know, I, I talked about them anyway. And then, but in, on the TV in the background, you've got the money thing. You've got like Scrooge McDuck there with all these millions hoarding it and stuff. You've got like the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You've got the million pound drop. You've got um, who um, Deal or No Deal. People winning the top prizes in all these games and wants to get the money. Maybe they change. I'm not sure, man. That's why he's trying to get it in that respect. But I mean, it might just be used for reference for money. But I definitely agree with all the points about the uh, government doing what they want to do, only feeding the information they want you to feed. They want to feed to you so that you they can cause chaos, pandemonium, hysteria, hysteria etc. Because they're the cause of it all. They are. That's their agenda, to make us not see what's going on properly. When they fuck up, they cover it. If we fuck up, we get arrested. End of story. What another brilliant song by Ren. Let me know where to go from here, guys. Is there any more cool songs from Ren? I'm sure there is. Just write it down in the comments. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next one.